All right, so we want to solve the following problem. So we're going to do that. Um, I mean, basically what we're finding, we're just summing up a bunch of small uh, changes in X and, you know, with respect to whatever the equation is here. And that's how we get the area. So summing it up, uh, integrating from negative 3, that's where it starts here, to 1, 4, X squared plus 2X minus 3, DX. So we get X cubed over 3 plus... This is x squared over 2, but it cancels out the 2 coefficient, so it just becomes x squared, and then minus 3x, and then we're going from negative 3 to 1. So we get 1 third um, plus 1 minus 3, and we're subtracting, so this becomes negative 27 over 3, which is negative 9 minus 9, or excuse me, plus 9, because it's negative 3 squared comes out to be positive 9 and then plus 9 again. Alright, so what I did, I just had to make sure this is right. Um, so finishing this up, I get, I bring this down, I get uh, 4 over 3 minus 9 over 3 minus 9, and then I move it over here, I get negative 5 over 3 minus 27 over 3, which gets me negative 33 over 3, um, or excuse me, 32. Um, but this is an absolute area. This technically is right, well, it's area under under the line there. What I should have done is distributed a negative sign to uh, negate the negative area. But ultimately, uh, it's 32 over 3. And to do that, what I would have done at the beginning is distribute a negative sign through this equation, and that would negate the negative values. All right. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.